What's going on guys, Bob Roach from RoachTechnology.com here with a brand new video series for you called Switching to OS X. Since many people that watch my videos are building Hackintoshes, I figured that a good amount of these people are actually finally using OS X for the first time. That's where this video series comes into play. Whether you're on a Hackintosh or you just bought your first Mac, this video series is going to cover one tip per video on making the switch to OS X as seamless as possible. Now getting to the point of this video, this video is going to cover this guy right down here. In OS X we refer to this as the dock, whereas if you're coming from a Windows world we have something very similar down here which is called the taskbar. Now between these two guys there's differences and there's similarities so let's just go ahead and dive right in. So first I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys some features of the dock. Basically what this is is just like the taskbar in Windows it allows you to pin certain applications to it. Maybe these are frequently open applications or whatever have you. So for example I'll go ahead and dive into my stack here which I will get into in just a second and these are all different applications and folders. These are all coming from the applications folder. Once again I will get into that in just a minute. But let's go ahead and say I want to pin Firefox, a very popular web browser, to the dock. All you have to do is simply click drag and there you go slides right in making room and as you could have guessed you know I'm free to reorder these however I would like and you'll notice that some of these applications actually have a little glowing guy under here I'm gonna call it a glowing guy that, that simply means that the application is open whereas we'll go ahead and we'll bring windows back here if an application is open then you can see it has sort of you know a color to it but regardless, both operating systems make it pretty easy to tell which applications are open. And now with these glowing guys down here, if you want to close an application, simply right click and click quit. And now even this screen that comes up is actually sort of like what you get in Windows 7, where you can go ahead and click and hold and like drag upwards, and you can see you get more options here. Very similar functionalities, and it does vary from application to application on both Windows and OS X. So you may notice that my dock here is off center. That's just a terminal command I've input, which if you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. It's just, you know, sort of my personal preference. However, if you do want to resize it, there are two ways to do that. The first one is to go to system preferences, go ahead and go over to dock, and you can actually change the size by adjusting the slider right here. So maybe if you don't have the best vision or you just want to have a huge honk in dock, that's all up to you. As you can see, my dock is relatively small. I like to keep it that way. And also I have magnification turned on, which of course when you mouse over it, it does get bigger. I like this option the best simply because it takes up less screen real estate and things are only big when I need them to be. And of course you're free to turn that on and off. But another way to do this even faster is simply grab it right here with this little separator is, and as you can see I now get a different cursor. Now if I click and hold and drag up or down, the dock actually resizes right there. There's actually no need to go into preferences. Another cool thing you can do with the dock is actually change the position. So for example, I'll go ahead and I'll put the dock on the right side, which of course I don't like very much because it does cover up some of my drive names, which I'm not a fan of. So I've always liked the dock on the bottom, but also I do have a dual display setup, so the dock will not appear on the left, but on the left most monitor, or if you have one monitor, if I click left, it'll appear right here. But I'm just going to go ahead and put that back to the bottom because like I said, that's just my preference. Another cool feature of the dock in OS X is the ability to add stacks. And now what stacks are is basically a folder in the dock, but you have some pretty unique access to that folder. So what I'm going to do is open up a Finder window, and in case you're wondering, Finder is just basically Windows Explorer. That would be this guy right here, this Explorer window where you go to Computer, and then you go to Music, and all those different various folders. That's basically all Finder is. And of course within Finder you're obviously going to have folders. So for example I'm going to go ahead and take my movies folder. As you can see I really don't have much here. But if I did have a lot here I can simply click and hold. As you can see it pops out. I'm going to drag all the way into the dock. And just like that I've actually created a shortcut to that folder. But clicking this simply will not open up a Finder window. If I click that I can actually see what's in that folder. And from there I can click it and then it'll open up this folder here. As you can see they are actually identical. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete that stack simply by right clicking it, going to options and removing from the dock. And now what I've already done is I've actually created a stack to my media drive which is located right here. Do that simply by clicking and dragging. Now as you can see when I open this up this is actually much more useful because I have access to many different folders right from here. And now what I can do is I can actually click on these folders and I can go even farther. So I'll go ahead and go to pictures and then here's all my various pictures. So as you can see it's very powerful to be able to see all your folders right from here like this without having to go ahead and open up all these various explorer windows. 
So now just a few subtle differences, I'll go ahead and I'll get Windows back over here. The first thing I noticed probably is that there's no start button, and really there's no need for it because of the application stack, which is right here. So all my applications are just one click away. You can actually pin them to here if you'd like, but I just think that the dock is much easier because I can just have all my applications right here. Another thing you notice is that there's no system tray icon where, you know, you're, like over here, your uh, clock and all your different various like system tray things, that all takes place in OS X up here in the menu bar and I'll get into that more in my next video but you'll actually see why I prefer to have the menu bar rather than to have everything right down here. So that's pretty much the main differences between the dock and the task bar. I think you'll find over time that the Mac OS X dock definitely offers a lot of functionality and while a lot of the functionality really is the same as Windows, I think you'll find those subtle differences to actually save you some time and some clicks. So I hope this video helped you guys out that are just using OS X for the first time. Like I said, be sure to look out for my next video about the menu bar. And before this video gets any longer, thank you guys very much for watching. I'm at CPUKin on Twitter. Also be sure to check out RoachTechnology.com and at RoachTechnology on Twitter. Also be sure to leave a comment down below in the YouTube comments or on my website what kind of videos you guys would like to see next. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.